Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks for hanging out again. Going to break down War Pigs by Black Sabbath. Uh, put your seatbelt on. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> anyway, thanks again, you guys. Appreciate the support. Also, uh, the first comment down there can take you right to uh, my, my website, Marty Music. Got free courses on there for you to check out. Anyway, let's dig in. All right, so we're going to start with uh, the open E string and the seventh fret on the A string, which is the octave up of that. And you're going to let that ring out. And in the, in the opening here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So then, yeah, you can start with your ring finger. Sometimes I use index, but if it's the ring finger, the next thing you're gonna do is go, which is just a hammer on from the fifth to the seventh on the A string with the open E with it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Then, so you go, and so when you're doing the as soon as you hit the fifth fret of the A string, your index finger should come up and mute that open E from ringing out. So before it, you want it to ring out, but when you get to that fifth fret D note, you want you don't want the E with that. And then you're going to give it some wiggly vibrato, and depending on, you know, how much distortion you have, you might you know, try and get some feedback from it. So from the top, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. So that second one, you're going to grab the seventh fret with the A string and the sixth fret with the D string and you got the open E with it and you're gonna go dun dun ding da and you're adding your ring finger to that seventh fret D string like this. <laughs> that open E is ringing out with it and then you just go back to that ring finger, index finger move. And that same, that same move we already did on that part. So from the top. Now this third one here starts with that little double stop, so seven and six. You add that ring finger to the seven on the D. And then you gotta get to an E power chord, so seven and nine. I mostly use my pinky finger, but I can use my ring finger like that. I guess if you use your ring finger, it's a little smoother. And so then the next one after that has the same rhythm as, but it's just the full power chord. Ba, ba, da, da, da. Ba da 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 da, all on the E power chord. And so 
then the next thing you need is we're going to move over into this new position here of the 12th fret E string, and we're going to play a power chord. And when it gets to this next part, I like to do the super power chord. I think that's what they're doing as well. So it'd be 12, 14, 14. And you need to go ba, ba, slide a whole step down, ba, slide up a whole step down, ba, ba, da. So it's like this. And then you got to cut it off. And now we're into the all right, so let's do that intro from the top one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. me so far so that's the intro and then what I it feels their timings a little weird on the very first one but what I think the best thing to do is on that first donna here just kind of sing that first vocal in your head so like so you're just you got and then you got to cut it off i'm cutting it off with my right hand there i'm doing a down up but you could do two downs you could do a slide i'm doing a down up but uh, not positive. You might want to look up a video to see if he's doing all downs on that. So there's a couple fills now that happen. So evil minds it plot destruction. Deconstruction. Here it comes. In the fields of bodies burning. So we're gonna go, we're gonna grab the fourth fret with the uh, G string, index finger on the second behind it, and we're gonna pick it and pull them both off. Kind of like. So we got. Pull off here. You grab that, and it's basically pulled off because you got to immediately get to that 10th fret power chord. Ah. So here's the two fills. So now we're just doing a trill the open D and the second fret. And the other one is, and you're covering the 12th fret of the G, B, and high E. So those are the fills. Now we're going to chill the second fret. And then this one. Laughing spreads his wings. So 
So next we need to go 10, 12, power chord. Just like we were before. Then we're going to up to the 15. So just 15, 14, 13, 12. So 10, 12. Then with the tip of my index finger, I'm uh, grabbing the 12th fret of the G. And I'm giving it a fast, kind of wonky vibrato. Kind of a weird vibrato. So check it out. See that? You gotta just shake it real, real fast. And then another thing. And so that next fill is between the 12 and the 14 on the D string. So from the then again. The wiggly. Then this one again. Now we're going to get some chugs. So, one, two, three, four, really quick, palm muting, open E string. Then we're grabbing that, this little stab here of the 12th fret G, B, and high E. And you kind of slide it back, slide it off. Like that. Then, oh, oh, oh. So two times on the open E, and then you grab that third fret and you give it a bend. Next rhythm part still starts with the four open E's, but then we're going to do a pull off from two to open on the D string. Like that. You want to use a lot of palm muting so you don't hear the, you don't want to hear all that loud open string distortion noise. You got to get, you know, there's going to be a lot of cutting the notes off. So it's a variation, because you've got four of those, then a pull off on the, then one, two, three, then the pull off again, and then that third fret. So, so, here are those two parts. Let's go back. 